Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, June 6, 2024. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino, with a CDM number nine. Now, before we begin, I just want to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. It actually helps out the channel quite a bit. And also, if you're interested in more detailed analysis, especially on the threat for thunderstorms today, we go over the skew T and what is the potential for vertical wind shear and instability? Definitely check out premium consulting membership and the premium video that has been issued this morning. Now, let's talk about where we are right now. We have our low pressure system that supported thunderstorms capable of tornadoes down in Maryland. That warm front is lifting through the region. That's leading to periods of rain around Long Island and Connecticut, lifting up into southern New England. Overcast cloud cover and temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s and a bit muggy out there. But it's really muggy to the south of this warm front where we're seeing temperatures in the now pushing into the mid to upper 70s with dew points pushing into the upper 60s to lower 70s. It is going to be a humid day as this warm front lifts northward and that's going to include New York City, much of New Jersey, the Philadelphia Metro, Eastern Pennsylvania. And it sets up the environment for the potential for thunderstorms. Now, when we take a look at the radar and surface map from WeatherTap right now, we have our setup here. Here's our first cold front. This cold front behind it is a polar Pacific air mass. Not pure polar, not pure Pacific. It's more of a mix and a modified version of it. This is going to be marching into this tropical air mass. And that's going to set up the potential for scattered showers and thunderstorms as we move into the afternoon hours most of these thunderstorms will remain right in the middle basic heavy downpour rumble of thunder like gusty winds but that's about it but a few isolated thunderstorms especially around the i-95 corridor and around the delaware river valley right in this area right around here this is where there's a potential for an isolated severe thunderstorm. And I wouldn't be surprised, given what we saw yesterday and the type of environment that we are in, especially just north and west and south of east of I-95, okay, right around your warmest locations. It's called the urban heat island effect. Don't be surprised if we get a little bit of twist in these thunderstorms, okay? So extremely isolated, extremely random but just be aware of it, okay? Hopefully, nothing comes of it, and we just get these run-in-the-mill thunderstorms with heavy downpours and occasional lightning. But that's something that I'm a bit concerned about for this afternoon as this cold front moves through. And then behind that, we have a series of other cold fronts that's going to keep us a bit unsettled as we move on into the weekend. So, I mean, take a look at our visible satellite picture this morning. We do see some breaks here, and that's going to help to destabilize the atmosphere. We're already seeing that around southwestern New Jersey and southern New Jersey. But notice, you know, we're going to have a lot of mixed sun and clouds. So we won't be able to reach full destabilization, but it's already pretty unstable with Cape values already around 2,000 joules per kilogram. What that basically means for those of you who do not know is basically that is the amount of energy that is stocked up in the atmosphere, potential energy. And now the question is whether that potential energy is realized into actual thunderstorms. So you can see the atmosphere is moisture loaded. It has the instability. The stage is set. The question is whether or not we get the trigger to change that potential energy into kinetic energy. So a little bit of physics for you in the morning, okay? So that is what we're setting up here. And then when we take a look at the infrared satellite picture, there's our initial cold front, and there's a stronger lifting. You can see the colder cloud tops. Then we get one, two, and another one way up in Canada, all expected to swing through the region as we move on through the weekend. Notice they're much weaker because they're interacting with an air mass that is far drier and less unstable. So this is a tropical air mass. This is a polar Pacific air mass. This is a polar Pacific air mass. This is a polar air mass. And as they interact, not as strong lifting. Okay. So that's why these cold fronts appear weaker. So as we move through this afternoon, but we're going to watch out for these little pesky isolated thunderstorms. And again, here we are in the afternoon hours. Most of these thunderstorms are going to be pretty weak. And all of your strongest lifting is going to be up towards, let's say, the 
northern New York, eastern Great Lakes area, right around Lake Ontario, right around Syracuse, where we're going to see some impressive thunderstorms here. Uh, the way this usually plays out is that your strong lifting's here. You get some sinking air somewhere around here. Then you get more lifting here somewhere in this area. So you end up with this break and then this area of strong to severe thunderstorms and strong to severe thunderstorms. So it's hard to say exactly where that break is going to set up until the storms actually develop, but you kind of get the overall theme here. You're going to have strong lifting up here, strong lifting down here, and there's going to be a break possibly around the New York City metro uh, in between. But this can change pretty quickly depending on how all these different boundaries set up. So you get the idea here. Threat for these isolated to widely scattered thunderstorms. And with them, one or two could actually reach severe levels. And we could see a little bit of a twist within them just to keep an eye on that. Just keep that in the back of your head. Nothing really to you know get too overly concerned about just yet. But I just want you to be aware of that potential, especially around here and around here. Okay, somewhere in here, somewhere in here, and then again, somewhere right around here. We're going to have to watch out for that. Once that clears out this evening, we move into more of an environment where it's a bit unsettled. So, for today, scattered showers and thunderstorms, stormy, look for high temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 70s on Long Island, upper 70s to lower 80s everywhere else, and humid. I would not be surprised if we get a little bit more sunshine if we push up into the mid 80s in locations like the New York City metro and the Philadelphia metro. We have that urban heat on effect uh, pushing our temperatures up a little bit more. But the overall theme is that it is going to be muggy and it's going to feel more like the upper 80s to lower 90s. Now tonight into tomorrow morning, we clear out a little bit, a little bit lower humidity, low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over the northern interior, lower to mid 60s along the coast. For tomorrow afternoon, mix of sun and clouds, an isolated shower or thunderstorm is possible, especially over the interior, with high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s over the northern interior, upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast. For Saturday, another trough passes through, mix of sun and clouds, an isolated shower or thunderstorm is possible, low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast. High temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s over the northern interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast. On Sunday, another weak cold front moves through with a threat for a few widely scattered showers. I think this is a little bit overdone, but you get the idea here. Mix of sun and clouds, a few passing showers. So if you have outdoor plants, the best conditions likely are going to be on Saturday. Look for low temperatures ranging from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior, mid to upper 50s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the upper 60s to mid 70s over the northern interior, mid to upper 70s along the coast, and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Monday, another weak trough passes through with scattered cloud cover and an isolated shower or thunderstorm. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s over the northern interior, mid to upper 50s along the coast. High temperatures in the mid to upper 70s over the northern interior and along the coast, upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Tuesday, high pressure builds in with scattered cloud cover expected. Now, there could still be an isolated shower in the Poconos, but I'm not really expecting all that much. Look for low temperatures to range from the upper 50s to lower 60s over the northern interior, lower to mid 60s along the coast, high temperatures in the lower to mid 70s throughout the region. On Wednesday, high pressure passes right over the region with clear skies expected. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast, high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s over the interior, upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast and lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. Oh, and by the way, remember that storm that we were talking about that I thought was going to end up further east? Well, here it is, further east. Sometimes you just got to keep an eye on the ensembles. Now, on Thursday, we have a little weak trough here. We got this low pressure system out here, high pressure here, and you get this little weakness along the coast. And that's going to lead to a mix of sun and clouds and a few isolated showers. Look for low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over the northern interior, lower to mid 60s along the coast. High temperatures in the mid to upper 70s over the northern interior and along the coast. 
lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.